So welcome to Hash Races. I'll be teaching you Python from scratch. First we'll go to introduction to Python. Then sequence and file operations. Then functions and loops, that is object oriented programming concepts. Working with modules and handling exceptions. Okay, so let's get started. Introduction to Python. So as a curious software developer or as a curious guy who want to learn programming, what would be a question? Like which programming language to start with, right? So you just go to a tech guy or a tech girl and you just ask her that uh, which programming language should I start with? So her reply would be Python. So you would be like, why Python? There are many languages. I have heard of Java, C, C++, PHP, .NET, Fortran. Um, there are many programming language more like um, Kotlin, Swift, Objective-C, C-Sharp. Why are you suggesting me Python? Like what, what am I going to get by using Python? Why should it be my first programming language? Does it even have some applications? So you'll get enough reasons for that. Like the first thing is it's really simple and easy to learn. So since it is really simple and easy to learn, so less time to get trained, so less time to develop a software, so less time to implement it as soon as possible. Okay, so it's also free and open source. You can use it, you can modify it, you can even sell it and you don't have to pay anything for it. Okay, it's a high level language. It's not a normal, like only limited to scripting. It's not a normal level language only limited to scripting or it's not a language only limited to certain tasks, but it is everywhere. It has a big domain. Okay. So it's portable as well. And it supports different programming paradigm. It supports scripting as well as uh, object oriented programming concepts and much more. It's also extensible. So there are some tech giants who implement Python in the industry. If I say so, you would be like, really? Are you faking out? Like you said, it's really easy, simple, and it's open, uh, open source, and it's really free. I can use it anywhere I want. But how can you say that tech, tech giants apply this programming language? Didn't they get any other programming language better than this? Since it's free and open source, and every, everyone can learn it easily, so why does tech giant use it? So there comes the point that it's really a high-level language. Since it's portable and extensible, people use it. Okay, now we'll, we'll move on. I'll explain you in detail like why tech gens use Python instead of other programming languages. They have a variety of programming languages, right? There are more than hundreds of programming languages. They can use any one, but why are they preferring Python nowadays? So let's go and let's dig it out. Like which tech giants actually use Python? So the popular video sharing platform, YouTube is written in Python. Also, Google makes major use of Python in its web search. Like it, it, it crawls through millions of websites and matches your keywords with the keywords present in the websites. And it gives you uh, it, it gives you the result in seconds, not even seconds, in fraction of seconds. So that's the power of Python uh, in the web search. In YouTube, you just see, you just search any video, it directly comes and you just play the video and you enjoy the music or the video that you, you want to you want to see in YouTube. Then comes the Netflix has documented Python and its infrastructure. Since Netflix is one of the most popular video streaming platform, so it has also implemented Python. Also Dropbox uses Python on its both storage server and client software. So both the ways, like even if it's storage or even if it's client, both are being implemented using Python. NASA uses Python for specific programming related tasks. So sky is not the limit. This gives us the point that it's way more than that. Since it is, even NASA is applying, that means it has something to do with it, right? So Python has some power market share in the industry. Also Raspberry Pi, single board computer, promotes Python as its coding language. So for those who don't know what Raspberry Pi is, the single board computer is used for robotics and automation. You can do, uh, you can run various operating systems on uh, uh, Raspberry Pi, like Windows, Linux, Android, and much more. So not only Raspberry Pi, there are many single board computer, like Asus Board, Orange Pi, etc. So they all use Python. They promote Python as their coding language. So also this programming language has vast applications like web development, game development, 
machine learning and ai artificial intelligence so it's one of the first language to enter this field machine learning and artificial intelligence while other programming languages were set back python reached the spot first data science and visualization it also is used for making desktop gui like graphical user interface since it's based on c language i think it should be able to make graphical user interface way more easily than c business applications like if you want to automate your whatsapp if you want to automate your facebook if you want to automate the web applications that you're using right now you make a website tomorrow and you want to make auto responders auto mail forwarders so ultimately python is one of the best solution that 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 can be offered to you okay it also being used in embedded applications like uh, as i said raspberry pi asus tinker board orange pi there are many arduino um stem etc so they all use python you can you can code by using python there is another thing uh, made by nvidia nvidia jetson that also uses python so we'll move on and if you want to uh, know about the job opportunities like uh, you will be like more curious about the job opportunities right like uh, will i be get placed using python will i be able to cope up by just learning python will the will the tech industry recruit me so since it had various applications and used widely by tech giants so it's one of the most required tool for getting placed in companies still i'll give you some valid data for giving a better insight so just see uh, before 2003 python wasn't that popular 2004 was the time that it became it came in top 10 programming languages on demand based on the job opportunities and popularity it overtook perl by the end of 2005 by the start of 2006 and by the end of 2007 by the start of 2008 it overtook c sharp okay so by the end of 2008 it overtook c sharp and uh, it started gaining recognition now more people uh, started using python then by the end of 2010 it overtook its uh, own master that is c since it was based on c so now it has a bit it got a better lead uh, php which was used to make web applications websites even facebook is coded using php they also started switching to python for getting more automations web automations okay so 2014 2015 was the time where more number of ides uh, came into the market for python so ultimately this can be considered as the most uh, popular momentum for python so ultimately by the end of 2017 more people got uh, into python and they understood that python would be my first programming language they started switching to python and by the end of 2019 it captured a major share in the market and it went to number 1 and still it's one number 1